Frank, you were a pioneer in the, in the sense that you were a baseball, Major League Baseball's first black manager. What sequence of events led to you uh, breaking that kind of ground at that time? Well, I think uh, I realized very early in my uh, career that I wanted to stay in the game after I was a player. And uh, I did one thing that was very unusual, and I don't know if any more, many more players that did it, if any did it. I went down to Puerto Rico and managed down there for, for about five or six years while I was still playing and tried to prepare myself for the day that I was going to be step out of baseball as a player to be prepared to step into being a manager. And that's what I felt like I wanted to do when I was through playing. And when that came about, I had to be very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time in Cleveland because I came over to Cleveland in September of the, uh, 74. And at the end of the year, they fired the manager and they asked me if I wanted to be the manager of the Cleveland Indians. And I was swept off my feet really at the time and I certainly jumped at the opportunity.